My name is Joe, and today is Monday, July 31st, 2023. Now, I'm making this video because I got something to say about a lot to say, or I got a lot to say about something to say. I'm in a great mood. I just finished work 42 minutes ago, and normally at this time, right now, I'm cooking dinner and about to shove it down my face, and then I'm exhausted. But a great, beautiful, wonderful thing has happened. And it happens very infrequently in my life. But when God pushes the trigger for me to go, I go. And it's always something that's weird because I could want to do it. It ain't going to work. And then it comes out of nowhere. Hey, why don't I do this? And it just falls like, like, a, like an old car. There's old racetrack cars where you put it in the slot, had that needle. It just fits in there and I go. Full speed, don't jump the track. Pass, go, collect $200 even. So today, didn't even bother me that I had a day of work and it's a Monday because I was in such a great mood. And let me tell you why. Now, obviously, you're looking at this picture. You say, hey, this man's a little fat in the ass. He could probably trim down. I know you do notice I'm beautiful, but that's okay as well. So the last time I had made a concerted effort to lose weight was back in right around this time of the year, but in 2021. The other day, I decided I'd know what you know. Maybe it's finally time to get a new scale because that scale I had was causing trouble. And that's kind of partial of what put the kibosh on me consciously trying to lose weight. There was other stuff that went on in my life too. We're talking about 2021 around the end of July, beginning of August, around there, September-ish, wasn't a great time. But I decided last week, hey, it's finally time to get a scale. Let's see something that's, if I can find something that's accurate and affordable. So I found this. Now, when I was unboxing this, and I did my unboxing on Instagram, I thought it said fat smart, <laughs> not eat smart. So I always go, you know, I didn't know my weight. So I was like, let me, let me get at least a 550. And I don't, I, I, I think I'm somewhere in the 400. So I don't know where I, I lost track. So I get the scale, the eat smart. Don't worry about it. You want to eat smart, go carnivore. Precision 550. Now, when I made my video last night, I didn't notice the back of the box, which I saw this morning and I laughed my ass off. They're making absolutely no, no hidden meanings or gestures about who they're targeting. And there he is. And there I am. But without the facial hair, which trust me, that's part of the reason I have the facial hair. I have a big old baby face and I look stupid. And with the double chin, it don't look good. Especially now I'm like 50 uh, I'm 55 and a half. I'll be 56 December 10th. So, but they're making no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hey, fat bastard, get a scale. Eat smart. Lose some fucking weight. So I got this scale. And I said, okay, Monday, it's time. And it's not like I've been eating garbage stuff. I've been on the carnivore diet, mostly one meal a day. I cut out a lot of stuff. I don't have the pork rinds anymore. I don't even have cheese. I make my own kind of cream cheese with some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, the flavor, a little salt. Um, I use ghee, and I haven't used a lot of that in a while. Um, sour cream, one ingredient, cultured milk. You know, I have my antihistamine, unaged ground beef that I get from better fed beef. And they have that awesome anti-age, whatever, uh, unaged antihistamine summer sausage. I get that as well. Uh, unbelievably delicious. And so I said, all right, I'm testing the scale out. Today we're starting. I get on the scale, 429 pounds. Now, I triple check things. And that's what was going wrong with the old scale. So with this new scale... Here's the new one, and it's heavy. It's heavy, solid. All right. I get on it one time. 
it beeps when it's ready. It keeps the light on so you can see the readout, nice big readout, 429. I'm like, whoa, really? That would be great. Because I remember when I had my other scale that was also one up to 550, and I had to, you know, I started at about 560 and got down. So I, I step off the scale, wait for it to shut off, you know, step on it to start it again, get on. Boom, it beeps, 429. I said, really? I'm doing that a third time. Third time's the charm. I step up it there one more time, 429. I said, well, this is fucking awesome. This scale was only 33 bucks, like 32 and change. My other scale. Let me show you this piece of shit that caused me so much uh, trouble, heartache, and, and just aggravation. And it's not hard to aggravate an Italian from New York. We don't want it, but it happens. So this was my other scale. And this scale decided to play a game. And the game was, hey, uh, you lost five pounds. Oh, okay. Well, let me get back on again, just to be sure. You get back on. Hey, you gained 20 pounds. What? Oh, well, let me, let me get back on again just to see what the hell's going on. Find a happy medium. You get back on again. Uh, you lost 30 pounds. What? Get back on. You gained 10. Done. Done. I go immediately to the Amazon product page for this thing. And remember, folks, always go to Google or wherever you bought something because whatever problem you're having, you're not the first to have it. And all I see is people saying, man, this thing just goes all over. And I, remember, I never remembered it doing that, but I don't know what happened, but it just was not reliable. This thing, however, I love it. So, 429, a lot of people say, but Joy, that's a lot of fat in the ass. You got to do something. Let me tell you why I'm in such a good mood. And I'm going to pause for a second to put some graphics on here. So give me a second. And we're back. Oh, my goodness. I can't, I can't tell you the aggravation I just had pulling this up like that. The window and, win the window and window thing. Son of a... All right, I'm aggravated. Okay. Now, back in 2021, I knew I had been recording my weight start and my weight loss. So I said, yeah, I used to put that on my Google Calendar. Let's do a search for the word weight or weigh to see if I can find it. And sure enough, there it is. So back on May 2021, Tuesday, May 11th, 2021, I weighed in at 492 pounds. And I remember that's after like a month of already starting the keto and thinking, yeah, maybe I should get on the scale now. Because I was never in a rush. I don't want to be a slave to the scale. You know, because you become a slave to that number really quick. Go by how you feel and all that stuff. But at a certain point, you got to get serious. Now it's time to be serious. Then on May 26th, 2021, I was down to 470.4. Uh, June 9th. 458.4. June 23rd, up to 461.6. I don't know if that was me not being serious or that freaking scale. But then I'm like, I ain't going to mess with it. And I got serious. July 7th, 2021, 438 pounds, right? And then July 21st, 440. Once again, was it me? Was it the scale? I don't know. It might have been that damn scale. Then, August 4th, 2021, question mark. Why? Had to be, I, I think it was that scale making me nuts. And I was like, I don't care. You know what? F it, I think, at the time. But then on August 28th, Saturday, 2021, I weighed in at 425.6. Now, remember, I put myself a few times just to make sure Oh, 424, and I, and I get that kind of number. That's the solid number. So almost three years later, 
Oh, two years later. I got to do math. Fucking. Almost two years later. There's a nine pound difference. I'll take it. It's a great starting point. So that's why I was in such a great mood today. So. You know, say a prayer for me. Wish me luck. Go in the backyard, kick a fucking tree, whatever you do. You know? But listen, let me see if I can drag myself now, be full screen again. Hey, look at that. That kind of worked. So here we are. Brand new scale. Brand new day. Going to be a brand new, you know, not really a brand new being, but a brand new me for the 15,000th time. Never give up. Right? Even if you end up with the brass ring in the palm of your hand and you keep dropping it and it keeps getting snatched away, never give up, never surrender. Like Zach Wilde and Black Label Society says, G-I-F-D. Get it fucking done. As long as you're on this side of the earth, the upper side, and not below, you got time to fix mistakes. Fix yourself. Work on your health. I don't care. Never give up hope. Never surrender. Never say die. So, Black Sabbath and triumph. But hey, that's where I got it from. Never say never. You know, never surrender. Never say die. Don't give up. And here we are. Today was the first weigh-in. July 31st, 2023. Monday, 429 pounds. And what else can I say? I want to wrap it up. I don't want to keep rambling on. Um, I hope everyone is doing great. You're going to see more videos from me because for me to get serious, what that means, just like it was back then, I can't eat every day. Even if it's one meal a day, I, my, I just don't feel good doing that. And I've been doing that for a while now, even though it's been carnivore, one meal a day. It's still too much for me. It's enough to maintain, as we've seen. All right? And maybe I went up and it brought me back down. But any time I've ever lost weight, it's been with intermittent fasting. And my schedule that's always worked is on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I fast completely. So I'll be having my coffee. My coffee got no calories because I use those skinny, you know, sugar-free, no whatever sweeteners. I'll be eating on Tuesday, and it's not one meal a day. It's not from the beginning to the end. It'll be that one meal, normal-sized dinner, carnivore, Tuesday and Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll be fasting. Man, it, that helps me physically, mentally, and my sleep. Oh, I sleep like a baby, and I got a great night's sleep. I had one of those nights of sleep last night where you go to sleep and you wake up. I'm like, oh, shit, the whole night must have passed. It feels like forever later, and you've been, and you've been asleep for an hour. And then you keep falling asleep and waking up, and it's just a, and you still got, I still got seven hours. You wake up again, you think the night's over. Oh, I still got four hours. And that happened all night. It was like a prelude to a great day. God bless me with a great night's sleep. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. You're going to see more videos from me. because And the, the videos when I was making it back then, I was doing this. So I have the extra time. I'll have the extra energy from fasting and losing weight. I'll have the extra time because right now I'd be in the kitchen shoving my face full of food. So get used to seeing me a lot more. Maybe not every night, but you'll see more videos. But hey... Thank everyone who's been stopping by. Thank the new subscribers. Everyone leaving nice comments. You know I love you. And as my favorite, all-time favorite, you know, saying from Tiny Tim, God bless us all, everyone. I'll see you all later. Rock on.